But we're going to start to dry out as we go into the middle of the week, and that's going to take us into the weekend. And so temperatures are actually going to be in the near to below seasonal range. We're also talking about drying out and getting rid of some of this humidity and having some drier westerly winds pick up. So current temperatures right now, we got those widespread 70s west of the mountains. We're at double sevens right now for Escondido, the same for Poway and for downtown. 76 degrees for Del Mar, 79 degrees currently for El Cajon, and you have 88 degrees for Borrego Springs. It is still humid out there. We have high humidity values above 90% across the mountains and we also have most of our humidity values above 50% across the county with the exception of Borrego Springs but it's still an uptick you're talking about 44% relative humidity you feel the thickness out there the breeze is still there as well in some spots 12 miles per hour right now for Ramona four miles per hour for El Cajon but we have the gusts picking up into the double digits in the teens right now for Hamul the same for Alpine as well as 11 miles per hour for Chula Vista out of the west out of the southwest at 13 miles per hour for Escondido. We got all the cloud cover out there. You got the high clouds, mid level clouds. That's going to continue to be the case and even still seeing some showers and even some downpours across the mountains. That's going to keep going until roughly about 830 near Julian as well as impacting Mount Laguna and then near Campo until about, well, it was 630 when we were expecting that uh, flood advisory to expire. So we're past that point at 645. You have a chance as we go into the evening hours. Once we get past 10, that's when things start to get a little bit more quiet over the mountains and desert. We dry out by the middle of the week and temperatures are going to be slightly below seasonal and even in that near seasonal range as we go throughout much of the week. So an area of high pressure is surging in some monsoonal moisture and then you still have the leftover moisture for K. So southwest concerns when it comes to flood watches. We're seeing that as we go into the evening hours. Also fire weather concerns across Wyoming and seeing an area of low pressure across the Great Lakes producing some shower activity extending all the way towards the northeast. We have a trough of low pressure is going to develop over the west that's going to help bring down down those temperatures, as I mentioned, keeping us in the near to below seasonal range, and that takes us into the weekend. Your eight day microclimate forecast has the 70s going strong all the way through next week. You have the 80s set to return once we get past about tomorrow back into the upper 70s by the middle of the week, and then also talking about the 80s returning for the start of the weekend for the mountains.